The Sopwith Camel was an incredibly successful British First World War biplane fighter aircraft that was introduced on the Western Front in 1917. It was powered by a rotary engine and armed with the twin Vickers machine guns. The Camel was highly manoeuvrable and became one of the best remembered Allied aircraft of the First World War. In this video we're going to have a quick look at the Sopwith Camel and if you want to buy one stop around to the end of the video. It was a performance machine for its time, which means it was difficult to handle. Now, I said it was successful. The Sop of Camel shot down 1,294 enemy aircraft during World War I, more than any other Allied fighter plane. It carried two water-cooled 7.7mm British Vickers machine guns, and the Vickers machine gun has an effective firing range of 2,000 metres and a 250 round canvas belt fed system, which gave the Camel significant firepower. It synchronised its shots through the propeller blades. The Camel could even carry four bombs for ground attack. In fact, the Camel was particularly good at strafing and bombing ground targets. The Camel was developed from the Sopworth Scout, which is more popularly known as the Sopworth Pup, which entered service in the Royal Flying Corps and Royal Naval Flying Corps in 1916. The Pup, affectionately named so because it was smaller than the larger two-seat Sopworth one and a half strutter, and the Pup was armed with a single Vickers machine gun. The Camel joined number four squadron of the Royal Naval Air Service stationed near Dunkirk, France in June 1917. Later variants included the 2F1 Ships Camel, which was used on the flight decks of those early aircraft carriers, and the Comic, which was a night fighter variant, and the TF1, which was a dedicated trench fighter which carried out those ground attacks on heavily defended enemy lines. The Camel also had a two-seat trainer variant. The Sop of Camel and the Fokker triplane made famous by the Red Baron were two of the most iconic fighters of World War I. The Fokker triplane was a German triplane with exceptional maneuverability and climb rate, making it a deadly foe to the Camel pilots. The Camel had a wingspan of 28 feet, a top speed of 120 miles an hour, and a ceiling of between 19,000 and 24,000, depending on the variant and the engine. While the Fokker DR1's wingspan was 23 feet 7 inches and had a top speed of 110 to 120 miles per hour, with a ceiling of 20,000 feet. So I'm seeing some discrepancies of the performance stats online, so I'll put links below this video where I got the information from and you can have a look yourself. So, which was the better fighter aircraft? Well, a paper exploring their turn performance using simulations concluded that the Sopwith Camel is the better turner. While the sustained turn rate capability of the DR1 and the Camel are close at low level, the Camel gains a progressively larger advantage as altitude goes up. I'll link to that paper below so you can have a read there. So the Camel has the higher ceiling, greater speed, and less deceleration under wing loading, giving it a few advantages. Let me know in the comments which aircraft of World War I you think is the best. The last Camels were withdrawn from RAF service in January 1920. Today, I don't think there are any originals still flying, but there are some replicas that are airworthy. For example, Jim and Jonah Appleby's Antique Aero Limited built a reproduction of the Camel F1, which has been on display at the Canadian Museum of Flight and the Museum of Flight in Seattle. The National Museum of the United States Air Force has a reproduction of the Sopov Camel, the F1 variant, on display. Additionally, there is the Shuttleworth Collection Sopov Camel, and that was test flown in 2018. So, what if you want to buy one? Well, I don't think there are any originals flying around still, but you can get replicas. Online, I've seen some different ones at different prices, depending on the complexity of the build. I found a full-scale reproduction being offered in 2018 for 60,000 Australian dollars, around 43,000 US dollars. A three-quarter scale flying replica kit, which is available from Aerodrome Aeroplanes in Holden. And one was listed for sale on Plane Sale USA for 50,000 US dollars, but that one's been sold. So if you want to get one and you do see one come up, you'd better be quick. Just be aware that like many performance aircraft of the day, the Camel unfortunately killed a lot of its own pilots. The small wingspan and the purposely unstable characteristics with the gyroscopic effect of the rotary engine and prop meant flipping it into a spin was very easy at low speeds. New pilots had some fear of it. 
Thanks for watching. I make these videos for fun and I enjoy making them. If you do like them, then consider the super thanks below this video. A few dollars goes a long way to helping me keep going. Thanks for those of you who have already supported me and the channel. If you're interested in getting into flying and you want to know what options you've got for any budget, I've made a playlist here that discusses various options for wannabe pilots of any budget from gliding to powered flight. I'm Pilot Mike. See you in the next video next week.